Next thing we do, obviously we're going to carry on with the phone. We've got a separate guide for splitting the screen apart, so we can refer to that when we need be. The phone itself we're, um, is split into many different parts. Um, we'll start off by remove, removing the screws around the board. We're going to remove the board, we're going to remove everything pretty much. So, you see the screws down here. The 3GS has a little connector that comes up here with the aerial as well. You, you ping that connector off and you get to the screws. Now beneath this do not remove label, that's the warranty label. Um, is a screw, and I know roughly where it is, so we can go. We can go in there. We can undo the screw. Obviously, removing this, breaking that seal, you know, invalidates any warranty. And here we go. We're going to go round the screws one by one, dropping them in the compartments. It's quite useful because you know there's a few that are different, that are different sizes, um, and we can keep them separate. Then another screw up there. That's the sort of the main board down the right hand side. We're going to remove the camera screw and the little sort of the little arm that sits over and holds the camera down as well, a little spring spring clip. That comes off like that. We can drop that into there. Uh, right down the uh, down the left hand side, you can have a screw here and it holds the corner of the board down. That comes off. The screw mid board here. I'll try and do it so you can see it, but it's pretty difficult. And then finally there's a screw underneath that cable. So we can start popping off the uh, the little ribbon cables internally now. So number four, we need to know need to come off. We can get in either side, all the way around the connector. It just pings off. Uh, be careful of any chips underneath it. At the moment, that little black rubber label is skewed a bit off the top. So uh, we need to try and sort of get under there, lift the rubber off there, and then get underneath there. Mind, mind you, don't damage any chips underneath the connector as you go in, and it literally just pops off. There we go. So that comes up there. We're also going to remove these cables here. Now this this little rectangle there, the silver rectangle, that's for the headphone jack and the power switch and the volume and the mute. So they're all the switch gear cables, that just pings up there. Number six is uh, is the Wi-Fi that runs across here. Very awkward to get on the circular connector, you want to be careful of those, they don't get damaged. So now that's the case, we can remove that last screw down here and that should lift out and drop into there. While we're at it, we are going to want to remove the, the SIM dock uh, you know the SIM card holder because that will stop the board from coming out. Now obviously you can pop your clip in there or we can just give it a little bit of a nudge from the back, pops out and off it goes. So we've got the screws out, we've got the SIM tray out, we've got the connectors off, all the connectors are off now that, that need to be, that we need to lift the board out. And what we're going to do, first of all we're going to pop the camera just so it's up a bit there and we're going to come in from the bottom of the board and just lift, lift it up, lift it up there and just shuffle it down a bit. There we go. I'm going to shuffle it down towards the bottom of the phone, and there we go. The logic board is now out. That is the board. It's assembled, and it's ready to go in the phone. Now this is the the tricky bit. You need just sort of your eyes and fingers everywhere. You're going to go in at that angle, uh, almost. If I can see it side on, you're going to go in a bit like that, in and then down minding all the connectors on the way. So first thing is you're going to get this SIM juncta in place, you're going to slide it down underneath, lifting the camera up at the same time, lifting those connectors up at the same time, there's so much to think about, but you lift those up, you lift the camera up, and this slides down, and what happens is the board actually goes underneath, let me see if I can show you, a black clip just out next to the headphone jack there, it's like a little barb clip, it goes underneath there, and the top of the board, as you slide it in, goes underneath that little black bit there and it goes underneath it. So when we're pretty much there, it's underneath that, that clip and that clip there, but you don't you're not going to press it down because at the moment we've got number four in the way and on the three GS you've got another cable that sits in the way here. So it's a case of lift number four out of the way, push those in with your thumb, pushing the board forward, and then it just sits down quite nicely, quite snugly. Um, there's a little pin there and there's a little pin down here that the board just literally locates on. Once they're on there, you know it's all good. If you've got to really force it, there's something wrong. So let go, take it out, have a rethink. Because if you have to force anything on these, you're going to break it. Simple as that. So that's the board in place. We're going to put a couple of screws in place now, starting with the long sort of non-shank screw that goes through that uh, sort of guarantee label, the warranty label. That should just hold it in place. 
Right, that screws in place. Another thing to watch is that little gold connector, that little spring clip. You've got to make sure it's not underneath this metal bit, it's actually resting nicely against it. Um, that'll give you good signal then. So we'll work our way around with the screws on the board now. Um, we, because they've located on those little lugs, those little pins, we pretty much know that there's no real need to do things, do them loosely, then go round them again. But if you want to, it's, it's good practice, really. Um, I'm just trying to save a little bit of time as we go. There we go, another little screw. Magnetic screw drive is really quite handy. Right there. Next thing we do, we're going to push the camera in. So you're going to push it in towards the board a little bit that way, and then down. And it gives it a nice little clip, and it sits in there quite comfortably. And then you've got this bracket with the screw that goes through. It just kind of puts a little bit of pressure on the camera. Really quite tricky. You can't do this. With the shakes, or a night after the, a night with you on your beer, or something, because you'd be all over the place, right? So that little screwdriver comes in there. The little bracket holds the camera down. There. So we'll work our way round again with the screws, and we'll go down the left-hand side of the phone. Just needs a, a little bit of a press down there. As I noticed when I was screwing this, or about to screw this in, that it was lifted up slightly proud. And what had happened was it had just risen above that little barb clip there. So I just needed, because it's a little barb clip, you can push it down and it kind of is like a non return thing. So, right, that screws in place now. Come on, there we go, the next one. Or mid board screw. And then Finally, the bottom bottom board screw underneath connector four. Perfect. So that's they're all the screws in the board, apart from the two bottom ones and that little bracket, obviously that we can't put in again. Um, so there's there's the board in place. Now, now we're going to start to connect it up. It's quite a straightforward job. It takes a little bit of sort of a bit of patience, but first thing first number four, now we can refit that rubber bit on top of that connector. It, because they've been in there anyway, they kind of know their location, so it's a case of just literally gen gently find, you know, settling the cable down to roughly where it's going to be and just finding it with your thumb, finding a location, then pressing it and getting that nice affirmative click like that. Um, same one with that one, number five, sit it down, give it a little bit of a wiggle with your thumb, you find out where it's happy, then give it a final press. Now number six, and also I think it's number seven down here on a 3GS is really tricky. They're circular. Now it's good to get a good angle at it. Have a look with your finger, and literally you've, there's, there's not much room for error, uh, for a margin for error, shall I say. And it's a case of having a good look down there, finding where you are before you even start to put any pressure on. And if you get it somewhere near and locally, it, it does give a nice little click on. If you try and force it, thinking it's anywhere near, and it's not, you will peen it over and it's, you're into a world of pain then. You're into trying to reform the little circle and all sorts. They are they are so fragile, so be really careful with those folks. Same with the 3GS one that's down there as well. Um, once you've lost those, you're gonna lose your signal um, and you, you know, your aerial integrity. Next thing, the SIM card tray, obviously. That slots in without a problem. Nice and flush, sits in there okay. Perfect. So there's your iPhone 3G and 3GS assembled, ready for your screen.